show and tell. This is the Gizmondo. It came out in 2005. Game trailers rated it as the worst console ever, and with good reason. It started off as an investment scam for the Swedish mob. And the crazy thing was they actually, the investment scam went so well, they actually made the thing. Uh, they hired an outside company to design it, and so it has a really unusual mix of things that are really interesting, innovative stuff, and things that didn't work out at all. Um, right here, these are buttons up at the top. And so as you can see, it has a really small screen. The PSP came out at about the same time, and you can see, super small screen. But the, uh, the crazy thing is, it has a GPS, it has a camera in the back, um, it also has uh, texting to it, and so it had all this great stuff. The problem is that the games were horrible, there were only eight of them. Uh, you could only buy it at very specialized kiosks in malls, and it costs $400. Um, they only sold about 25,000 of them. Uh, they were more popular in uh, the UK than they were in the US. They also sold them in Sweden, but they sold less than 100 in Sweden. Um, eventually, the company went bankrupt after about a year, um, so they stopped selling them, and a lot of the people who made it ended up in jail. Um, it's got a nice form factor to it, but overall, it's just a horrible, horrible system. It takes about 20 seconds to boot up, the GPS never really worked, and the few games that came out were just awful. The Gizmondo.